Hey guys, this is M Reinhardt93, and uh, I just finished cooking up a daily build, I guess you could call it, of Cyanogen Mod. Um, it's booting right now. It's just really a video to show you guys the progress I'm making on this and uh, what does and does not work. Um, yeah, before I start, or while this is booting, I guess. Oh, see, there's the Cyanogen Mod lock screen. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, thanks to all the supporters, um, like especially the people that have donated. I really appreciate that. It's pretty kind of you guys. But uh, yeah, anyway, Cyanogemod booted. It boots really fast once it gets past the Motorola lock screen. There's a uh, Cyanogemod lock screen. Um, one thing to note is I do have the SIM card out. Uh, for some reason, the SIM card breaks the phone app. <laughs> like it force closes horribly. It's not even usable, so... Yeah, I just took that out. Um, phone works. I mean, it does not work. I mean, you can use the app. You can't actually call out, though, because mobile network not available. Um, yeah, you have the power thing at the top. Sorry, I'm really tired, and I'm just rushing through this video. Um, we can go to settings, and then Cyanogen Mod settings. And it doesn't force close anymore. The very first build I put out, it force closed like no other. Um, we have overclocking support built in, very nice. See, max, min CPU frequency, it's minimum, max CPU. We can go to 1.1 gigahertz. This is running the Shabby Penguins Photon Penguins RC2 kernel. Um, we needed that kernel because it gives us X, EXT4 file system support. Uh, and the only downside right now, though, is it breaks Wi-Fi. I know Shabby is going to be working on that, which is good. Um, sound works. Like, we can record something. Hey, guys, XDA is awesome. You see, you can see a little meter moving. Yeah. Um, play it back. It works. Hey guys, sound XDA works. Awesome. You, you can feel yep, sound works. Uh, let's see, oh, camera. I actually got the camera button working, which is pretty cool. Let's see, camera works. Uh, front camera works as well. There I am. Hello. Uh, flash works. Interestingly, though, enough, it doesn't work in uh, the Torch app. Let's see, I don't know if you could see that little flash there. Here, let's take another one. There, there you can see the flash pretty good. Um, GPS doesn't work. Well, it might work. I'm not sure. I can't really test it that good. Wi-Fi errors if you try to start it. But again, I think that's just because of the kernel. Shabby should have that fixed. Bluetooth actually works according to Shabby. I have not tested it. I don't have anything Bluetooth to test it with. But yeah, he says it works. I think it was Shabby. I'm most positive. Um, the volume works. Like you can hear stuff. Multi-touch, I'll show you that real quick. Oh, I'll show you GPU. I'm not sure if GPU acceleration is working right now. Like, it scrolls pretty smooth. No lag at all. Like, I can just scroll through these. So I'm almost positive GPU acceleration is working. But, uh, multi-touch. Where is development? Dev tools, all right. Not connectivity. Development settings. Pointer location. Uh, you can actually see in the background a little bit. Let's see, we have one finger, two fingers, cross them around, do whatever. It works, which is awesome. Uh, there is actually a hack that we can do at most positive that can give us five fingers instead of just two, which is awesome. Uh, one thing to note, I'm not sure if this is just the due to the screen of the photon or what, but the color green looks a little bit off. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's just kind of gross a little bit. Um, yeah. So, oh, here's DSP Manager. I know someone was asking about that in the general section. We can edit the equalizer and all that. It's pretty cool. All right, so, yeah, that's it. Just a basic uh, preview of Cyanogen Mod on our Photon. It is pretty damn cool. I've been wanting to get Cyanogen Mod on this forever. Well, ever since I got it. Um, it's really the first Cyanogen Mod product I've ever taken up. So I'm just ex as excited as you guys are to get stuff working on this. Like, this is awesome for me. So, uh, yeah. Oh, you also get the cool 
you can do screenshots in here now. You can do a uh, oh SD card. Forgot that SD card. Right now it's mounting the internal SD card as the SD card <coughs> as the external SD card. I should say. For some reason I can't get the external SD card to mount, but I'll get that eventually. Right now it's just a workaround. So yeah, I got to go now, so I don't take up too much space on this. But um, yeah. I will see you guys back at XDA. Hopefully we can have some more stuff working soon. Um, yeah, thanks again for all the support. And those of you who donated, thank you very much. That was kind of you. And I will see you guys later.